Hello, 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 my YouTube friends. This is the Ambassador coming to you again. And we do have a very, very interesting subject. Yes, and please subscribe at the end of the video. I would certainly appreciate it. I can never keep myself together with sitting down. Okay, so... The subject is, we have a lot going on at the border. I mean, there is just too much going on at the border. So the people are coming up from Guatemala, El Salvador, Dominican Republic, coming up through that strip. And then uh, there's the people at the Mexican border. So they say a thousand of them are coming in daily. In to the U.S. Okay. Well, we have another situation. I don't know if I spoke about this before, but this seems to be a real problem now because there are a lot of Africans at the border as well. And they are coming in as well daily. So I just don't know what it is we're going to do. Um, I do believe that the president is doing all he can with this situation because this situation is just totally out of control. And some of the people who were working at the border with this situation have resigned because they say it's out of their control. Okay, so what are we going to do? I have no idea. Uh, what can we do? I have no idea. So I hope somebody can come up with some solutions because are we even going to have a country? Um, and, and another thing, I'm not just saying that, you know, all these people are not good people. I'm not saying that. I'm just saying that this is very dangerous to have this going on. Because if there's sickness and disease coming in and, and all other kinds of things that's coming in as well. Because a lot of these people at the border are sick. And they're coming from other countries sick. So I just don't know what we're going to do. I, I have no idea how this can be handled. I do have sympathy for all the people. But... I don't understand what it is about America that they really want to come at this time because they're not going to be able to get the jobs like they used to. So the government will wind up taking care of all these people. And trust me, it, it it's really not a lot of their fault because of what's going on in their countries. But then... How can we can't take care of everybody because there's a lot of homeless people right here in America and maybe just maybe some of these homeless people are the ones coming in through the border because you know California has all kind of people homeless on the streets in tents tent city in Los Angeles in San Francisco in Washington State Seattle it's just unbelievable. It is amazing. So amazing. It's amazing. Yes, it is. So, we have another situation. Now we have a lot of Africans at the border. And they are also coming into America every day. They even brought their luggage. I mean, tons of luggage. So, how did they get here? On the ship? I know they didn't, or did they fly? But anyway, they didn't walk from Africa. So what I'm trying to say is we need help. We need some solutions to these problems. And we, we would love to help and take care of people, but where are these resources coming from? I have no idea. We have a lot of homeless people here in America, which is really embarrassing to me. Because what? This is supposed to be this greatest land and 
We got all these cities full of homeless people. I can't even go to the grocery store without people panhandling all over the city, all over America. There's got to be some kind of solution. People have to take care of the veterans. They have to take care of certain ones that have really, you know, done this country service. They need help. Veterans need help. I don't know why they can't get it. It is really beyond me. So anyway, the Africans are coming in at the border. They say by 2043, this is going to be a black and brown country, mainly brown. So, you know, we better stand together. Because other people can see that. We are so divided, the Democrats against the Republicans, the Republicans against the Democrats, the, this group against that group, and there's about 280 such groups. And then there are uh, this race against that race. And really, as far as I know, the black race has never been against any race. So, you tell me, and you think God is pleased with this kind of situation? Where we are in such a, a wonderful land, but this is how we're treating it and the people in it. And you think God is not involved? Don't you know God is involved in our everyday lives? Every day he's involved. Just because you can't see him doesn't mean he's not involved. So anyway, when he gets ready, he will do whatever he needs to do. So. But he wants to give everybody a chance, a chance to come to him and to repent. Because let me tell you something, God could wipe this planet out with just a, a, a breath, just like that. Wipe us all out. And then we got the nerve to think that we're so much and we're so great. And we're only one breath away from eternity. So yes, we have a lot of things going on at the border. We better wake up, people. God is not playing. He's not going to keep playing with us. So, this is the ambassador saying to you, peace, love, and joy. And please subscribe. See you later.